Hey guys, how you doing? So it's basically today I'm going to be redoing one of the videos I've done a while ago. So it's basically just a quick one, just to how to get the Pokemon TCG Online uh, game on the uh, mobile phone. So the reason why I'm, why I'm redoing this is because the last one wasn't really that deal, and I wasn't expecting to get so many views. It's by far my most viewed video, about 47,000 views at the moment. So I do get a lot of questions on, on, on it. Basically, the biggest questions that I get is it's not working. The reason for that is because this video is only for Android phones. So if you are trying to get an, on an Apple, uh, an Apple iPhone, it won't work, and I don't actually know a way of getting it on an iPhone at the moment. I will be trying to do that video probably sometime next year because I'm due an upgrade, and I'm, I am actually planning on getting an iPhone from the next phone. So I will be trying to get it on that phone, and if I do succeed, I will make a video on it. But for now, this one's just for the Android. And uh, what you're going to do is basically you're going to go to Google, go on Google Chrome, Google Chrome is what I use, if you use a different uh, browser, it might work, it might not, I've never tried it on a different browser, but you're going to type in Pokemon TCG APK, and the website is APK Mirror, it should be the first result that comes up at the top of the screen. I'm going to put this uh, description, uh, in the description the link to this uh, to this exact uh, one, so if you, uh, if you don't want to just go on uh, Google, just go down and go to the link. What you're going to do is, once you've got that link, you're going to scroll all the way down until you get to this bit which says Pokemon Online and it gives you the date in which this update was. So, when you actually come to play the game on the phone and a new update does come out, which it will happen, there's always an update whenever there's a new set come out or different patches or different things that get changed in the game, you can't update the game when you've downloaded it. You need to uninstall it and go through this process from, uh, from the start again. So, if you are looking to update, delete it and then just do this again. Once you get there, just go to whichever uh, the latest version, which will be the top one. Click on the, uh, the download of an ad, if an advert comes up, just click X, get rid of that, and then scroll down to where it says see all available downloads. Click on that, then it will come up the variant, APK, the date, and different versions. So this is their version Android 4.1 Plus, so you need to have at least Android 4.1 or uh, higher installed on your phone in order to play this uh, version of the game. And if you do, great, then click on the, whichever the number is, which is 2.8, this one, click on that. Scroll down again, and then click on Download APK. So it's 48.5 megabytes is the download. That is not how much memory this game takes up, though. This game, next one, click Download. This game actually takes up about 2.3.8 uh, gigabytes of uh, memory. So if you haven't got enough memory on your on your phone uh, to do the game, then it won't actually install, and it will fail when you try to open it. So make sure you have quite a high uh, memory on your phone, and if you don't have uh, high enough memory on your phone then it won't actually work. Most phones these days are quite a high memory. This one has about 100 gig uh, without a memory card in so it's quite a high memory phone. So wait for it to download. It takes a few seconds. If, once it comes up it will come up open. If that's on Chrome, if it doesn't come up open just go wherever you've downloaded to and open it manually from there. But if it does come up this way, which it should if you use Chrome Click open, then click install, and that is literally all you've got to do is wait for it to install. It takes about 10 seconds for it to install, and then it will come, come up open at the end. Click on open, and then the game comes up. So, a few of the things is obviously the game is not designed for a phone, uh, so anything comes up, just click allow. Uh, the game's not designed for a phone, so it, some bits might not work properly. So, if you see on mine, I've got two black uh, rectangles on either side of the screen because the screen size is bigger than what the application is designed for. So obviously the iPad is a lot more square than than, than this quite stretchy <laughs> long phone that I've got. Uh, so some things might look a little bit off. Um, some things depend on your size of your screen as well. You might not be able to read if it's too small. Uh, things like that. But if you have played the game uh, enough to know what cards do, you won't need to read. You don't need to read much of the descriptions of the cards because you should know what cards do what, and then just play the game the same way you would. Anyway, another thing, which is the last thing I'm going to say, is that the first time it opens up, that you see on mine. It does take about two to three minutes, depending on how quick your phone is, how new your phone is, to install the game. This is the, this is the actual game installing, so it's putting that 3.8 gig onto the phone now. It's downloading all the cards, it's downloading all of the other stuff that it needs, so that's not included in the installation. So it does take a few minutes. So just put your phone down, let it install, and then come back. And then after that, all you've got to do is just put your login details in. So remember, you need to know your username and your password, unless you're creating a new account, which could just create a new account and then go on to it and again when you first log in it does take a few minutes for it all log in but it is the only 
time it'll do this is the first time you install it or again if you are updating it and you've got to delete it and then reinstall it with a new update it will obviously the first time you when you open it up it will take a few minutes for it for it to open and get started but after it's installed and everything's downloaded then it should work a lot faster and it will work a lot more efficiently and then it should work just as good as it does on a PC or on a tablet but anyways guys that's it for a day you can see now it's on about 80% it's almost done so it's only took a few minutes and then it'll be on soon but I'm just going to cut this video in now so if you did manage to get it on your phone please leave a like leave a comment and then consider subscribing we'll be doing more how to videos in the future I'll do more opening videos and more Pokemon Sword and Shield uh, switch gear run throughs and different things like that so I hope to see you there and goodbye for now